on S.A.R. Gilani. S.A.R. Gilani is one of those who was acquitted in the parliament attack case. And today in Delhi University, when this incident happened, let's just run the pictures once again. Uh, those ugly pictures of what happened at Delhi University. When, when this incident happened, there was a, a seminar going on on the subject of communalism, fascism and democracy, rhetoric and reality. That's when the student came and he spat twice on S.A.R. Gilani and the entire country is shocked that something like this happened. On the show tonight, I have with me from Delhi, the, the president of the Delhi University Students' Union. She is from the ABVP. She was part of those protests. She led those protests, Nupur Sharma. And S.A.R. Gilani, who had to face that, uh, that humiliation during that seminar, is also with us live tonight. Nupur, you'd like to apologize on the show tonight to Professor Gilani and to all the people across the country for what happened? I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry for using that flowery language. Three things you said wrong. One, it wasn't only ABVP. The intimation I got for this protest was by a normal student of Ramjas and KMC. It wasn't a protest of ABVP. Two, ABVP is not the youth wing, not the student wing of BJP. Let's ABVP comes directly under RSS. We have sister relationships with the BJP. ABVP came in 1949 and BJP came in 1984. Three, I'm really sorry to say, sir, I'm not going to apologize. What for? And four, the student who spat, do you have any proof that he was from the ABVP? I must make one thing very clear to you if you have the video. The student spat before I got in. The protest started when I entered and I left after everybody who was with me left. There are a lot of students who are really angry because, again, I must tell you something. The Lingdo committee strictly restricts any, any, any faculty member of the University of Delhi to say anything communal or preside over communal faces type of functions like this one. Fifthly, sixthly, in fact, I must tell you something very honestly. There were students in this very function who were not a part of DU. I know them. They were a part of JNU and other universities. And they were asking university students to leave that venue. As what? You shouldn't be in the university in the first place. So yes, now you can carry on. My dear young lady. My dear young lady, in your enthusiasm, you have said a lot. And I yes. must say, thank you for giving me the permission uh, to carry on. But, uh, but I must also add here that I too... Ms. Nopur Sharma, I have studied at that prestigious university. And as an ex-student of the university, I must say, and, apparently and as the a ex-student of the university, ma'am, please, please, as an ex-student of the university, I feel, a, I feel a sense of shock and horror at the mode of expression which was used today. It's not about the point of view that you have. It's about how you express it. If a student of a university has to spit, okay. Now tell me. If a student of a university, okay, one tell minute, me, tell me. young lady, no, Mr. Mr. Goswami, I'm really sorry. I'm not going to you here. You're telling me I need lady, to give a moral lecture. Have you? Young lady, to give there's you, someone else also on the show tonight. Here? Young lady, this is not what happened at the then university. Then you ask him. This is not what happened at the university. You will be given your chance to speak. Acha. The point is. Okay. There is a mode of expression, Mr. Gilani. Tell me what happened there, because let me get you into the discussion tonight. What is your sentiment at what happened? Yeah, see, see, I don't know, this is not between me and them. This is basically between democracy and fascism. What they did today was a fascist, fascism, quote, totally unveiled, totally unveiled. They were vandalizing, they were, you know, what, what they were doing, they were, they were, you know, damaging the university property. They were breaking the window panes, they were break, uh, broke, uh, breaking the windows of that hall where we, this meeting was being held. And they were shouting slogans, not, I mean, they were abusing a particular community. They were abusing Muslims. Is this what, is, what democracy is? I mean, this is between, this is, uh, you know, this is just between democracy and fascism. Here, we were holding a meeting democratically. There was no, I mean, it was not, a, as she was saying, that it was, it was not a communal. It was, you know, it was basic what we were talking about. It was democracy, basically. We were democratically holding a, holding a meeting. And here some, some lumpen elements come in. And then they, they, they start disturbing the whole meeting. Mm -hmm. This student spit on my face. Then 
they went out and they were vandalizing they were breaking the you no know, breaking the window panes shouting slogans against muslim community no, how, that's, what, my, how can my, you my, 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 my point is all these my, my point and is how long can you mr gilani i i don't believe in taking positions on these political issues my point is simply on the mode of expression on the mode of expression that that act of spitting is so despicable the the the, 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 the less said about it the better mr goswami they have said about it they have the right to protest who told you mr goswami who told you they have the right to protest but then there are some norms democratic norms mr goswami who told you that student they can one at a time this is from the abb one at a time please tell me sir who told you that student activist was with me in the protest they are doing and i try to sing the democratic space everywhere yeah let's let's see who is talking about democracy who is talking and please about the supreme court space University. who was only let out because of lack of technical evidence please mr goswami i'm What also a law student and i'm a very socially aware law student no. let's talk logic let's not talk about stuff that is not even making sense right now just take a position just take a position I will take, take a position. From, you, yes, you, I will take a position. Is, what, my position is was right. my position is that he is he has not been cleared. He has not been cleared of all his charges. On he the, he on actually the approached the Supreme Court. On he the act of them, spitting, he asked them. I should be given on a the act of spitting. And the word and the word. Listen to me. And the word technical Ms. should be Sharma, should be. Mr. Sharma, nobody is accusing you because it tarnishes the image. Ms. Sir, Sharma, what are you trying to tell me? Unfortunately, Mr. Goswami, what are you trying to tell me? <laughs> Miss Sharma, I mean, if you have to be a good lawyer, Miss Sharma, Miss Sharma, and, 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 Sharma, and Sharma, she is saying something which is uh, completely, yeah, what, you know, <laughs> against the law. What is saying? No, no, it's not about the law. What am I, I mean, saying? Which is against the law? It's not about the law. Telling, it's telling him that he was not clear of all his charges. He wasn't given a clean sheet by the Supreme Court. See about my case. Is against the law. Can I tell tell you something? The whole country should spit on him. Can I tell you something? The whole country should spit on him. Calm down, Miss Sharma, Mr. Gilani. and mr sharma on that note we are not going to get a consensus on this but clearly what happened today is not a precedent to follow thank you very much for joining